Right guys, Diabetic Biker here. So, many people that own an MT-07 or FZ-07 in America knows about the rubber handlebars. Now, if you haven't watched Jake the Garden Snake, first off, where have you been? Because his bolt stuff on serious or bolt shit on serious is brilliant and handy wee tips. So, what we're doing here is we're replacing the handlebars, that's the old stock ones there. I've got a pair of Renfro Ultra Lows there, quite fancied flat bars, but I thought we'll go Ultra Lows first since I still kind of use us for touring. So I thought, while I'm in this far, I might as well do what most of the MTO 7 owners call the Garden Snake mod. So if you undo the bolts under here, this will come off. So what you'll find is when it comes off, there's a couple of washers. Them. A couple of wee washers like this. So essentially, trying to drop my phone here, these wee washers will sit in here. So, because these bars are rubber mounted, they're a bit shit. They move too much. I don't like it. You can actually, if you've got an MOT test that was maybe not aware that these are kind of rubber mounted, it mm -hmm. could get an advisor or a fail on it as well. So I'm taking a page out of the Garden Snakes book. I've got a couple of M16 washers. So what, as Jake said, these are just going to sit in the outer rim and will hold the bars a wee bit better as well. So keep the wee ones here, just so as if you put these on, eh, they're far too big. So that takes up some of the slack on that. So if you put them back on, and then stick the mount back in. Adjust the washers and it takes away some of the the play. So I hope this helps some folk out that maybe don't want to watch the whole of Jake's video, but I will link it below so you can actually check it out because that's his idea he started this, so it's only fair I give him credit. Thanks for watching guys.